Hello, hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Bless you, Frank. My name's Rachel and today I'm just filming a get ready with me where I'm planning to be outside on a very hot day. So we're gonna be talking allergies and sweat proof makeup. So if that sounds good to you, I hope you'll hang around and get ready with me. Frank's being very rambunctious and playing with himself. So there will be puppy noises. I hope they're not too distracting. He's currently in looking for a new toy. Anyway, we're gonna talk skin prep. I haven't done any of that. Also, this is my skin on a particularly crazy hormonal cycle. Thank you, PCOS. I mean, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna start with skin prep. I am going to kick it off with the Fit Glow C Ceramide Toning Mist like I normally do just to rehydrate and dampen my skin. Let that sink in just a little bit. And before it dries, I'm gonna go in with the Phytosurgent C Submerge Hydrating Facial Serum. Love this stuff. I also, we were outside yesterday giving Frank his first like social outing with people. And I got a little bit of a sunburn on my arms. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see because it was quite red last night, and I used this Sea Submerge and another uh, body moisturizer I think I'm gonna be talking about in my favorite video for the month, and it totally helped take the redness down and the itchiness. So this is not just for the face, y'all. If you have something going on, would recommend. All right, I'm also going to prep my lips with the Kinship Super Melt. I've been using this for a few days now, and I'll go through a roundup at the end um, but it's always easier for me to talk through the skincare part because it's a lot of weird facial expressions, me moving around, rubbing my face, etc. I look a hot mess. That's because I am today. But yeah, super melt on the lips. And then since it has been particularly allergy-esque around here and I'm going to be outside today, I do want to use the Beauty Pie Ceramides Eye Roller Serum just to help soothe that area a little bit, maybe take down any puffiness that I might have. It just feels so good. But we did have his first outing. He did really well. Today is going to be another outing, but like amped up a little bit. Okay, I think he's done being rambunctious. Um, but it's gonna be a lot more people and there's gonna be a couple dogs there, so. We are going to be outside. It's going to be like 90 degrees today. So I wanted to show you how I would prep and do my makeup for a day where I know I'm going to be outside. Allergies are high. It's really hot. I'm going to be sweating. And so I try to keep it somewhat minimal, but also use some tips and tricks to help the makeup stay a little bit better. So yeah, I'm going to let that sink into my eyes before I go in with my eye cream. Okay, I'm just going to pop some eye cream on. Just a little bit, keep that area really hydrated. Plus it just feels so good when your allergies are acting up and your eyes are mad to just like give back to them, cool them down, hydrate them, it's just where it's at. And then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna skip moisturizer and I'm gonna go in with the Live Tinted Hue Guard 3-in-1. This truly is a 3-in-1, it does hydrate, it is great under makeup as a primer and the SPF, which I appreciate. And I don't want to over hydrate because I am probably going to be getting quite sweaty. And this is what I briefly mentioned is that this is tinted. It's not super tinted though. Like I think it's tinted enough that it's not going to be white casty on anyone, but it doesn't give a ton of coverage or on my pale skin look off. Some of the tinted, excuse me, tinted SPFs are too dark for me. This one is perfect. I love how it feels. It is very hydrating, but not in a greasy way. It sets down just a tiny bit, so it's not gonna stay super um, tacky or creamy on the skin. It does give a nice radiance though, which I appreciate. I've just been really liking it, so I'm very glad I picked this up. Would recommend this, but moving on. I'm gonna let that sit in for a minute, and then we'll go in with my base products, which I picked specifically for long lasting, sweat proof, all that good stuff. All right, I've let that sink in just a little bit. So for my base, I want it to be something, obviously I need, 
extra coverage right now from this lovely hormonal cycle that was 50 days. PCOS people, you have my unconditional love because it's rough. Anyway, I want it to last all day. I want to have a little bit more coverage. The Chantecaille Future Skin Gel does last really well on my skin, and some of the other products I have do as well, but what I want to go for today is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I'm so glad I picked this up. This does last if I use it a certain way. So with this product, I use the smallest amount. I'm not doing, like if this were the full size in the pump, I'm not even doing a full pump. Um, it gets a little too heavy and this stays emollient and dewy, it doesn't dry down at all. So um, you're gonna have to set it. And if I don't want it to start looking heavy, if I'm going to go in and set it with a powder, even if I'm using a lightweight powder, it tends to look very makeup-y. I feel you, Frank. I might need a boogie wipes break. Okay, there's going to be some jump cuts because I'm trying to hold back the gross noises from allergies, but I'm just using a dense brush to blend that in. As you can see, just those few dots that are very light, they're not like, I didn't put like a thick dot on. It's going to give me a lot of coverage to where I don't really need to spot conceal and on me, I do like how this wears down. I will say though, um, for really, really dry skin and skin that has like acne texture and dryness, you do want to hydrate before putting this on because it can break up on me and look a little patchy. But when I do a really thin layer, blend it in really well and also hydrate my skin beforehand, like that um, lip tinted is enough hydration. You don't need like a thick balm it will last and it will kind of wear away nicely. I do have to take this down a little bit on my neck because the fair shade is not quite fair enough. That's just where we're at. I'm also just wearing a black midi length maxi, which is from H&M from 2013 when I lived in New York. So like she has fulfilled her duty and lasted quite a long time. Yeah. So that's it with just the CC cream. The next thing I'm gonna go in with is actually the Rose Ink Concealer. I don't want to add a ton of coverage. I know that you can still see some of my acne. I'm at a point in my life where like, that's fine. We, we have zits, it happens. Um, but I do like using this under the eyes. It, I feel like a lot of people thought when Rosie Huntington Whitley came out with this line that it was going to be like very lightweight model-esque but like this concealer super high coverage i'm just going to do small dots around my eyes and that's going to be more than enough it's kind of bulletproof like it is going to set down it doesn't necessarily need setting powder if you are dry which i appreciate but it it will last it hangs around it's just great and I don't notice that it is overly drying because it is more of a matte concealer than like the Kosas but it is not overly drying I love the Kosas I honestly need to order a new one because I've noticed the consistency has gone off a little bit which is normal for that concealer if you don't use it up within a few like six months I don't want to say a few like six months it happens I know I'm not the only one I've seen that in reviews and on reddit so while I kind of wait for that one to order that one I, I i really love this rose ink one and it's definitely going to stay around all day today especially if you have itchy watery eyes that's a tip for the you know seasonal allergy of it all and then from there i'm actually not going to set that yet i have really been loving setting with the phytosurgeon so i'll do that at the very end next i'm going to go into my bronzer and I think everyone has heard this tip, but if you haven't, if you want really long lasting makeup, a tip is to layer cream and powder so that it really sticks and sets and it just holds the makeup on your face longer. So I'm actually going to go in with the Natasha Denona puff paint in the shade, the shade tan. And I'm going to do some bronzer with that. Just dot it on my face. I think that's good and then after we do that I'm gonna be setting it down with powder bronzer 
just going to use, honestly, this is the Beauty Pie Foundation brush. I'd use this for everything. I'm just going to blend that in. It's going to be a very light wash of bronzer, and then I will amp it up with the powder, but this will just help that color stick around a little bit longer. I can't believe it's gonna be 90 degrees today. Like we totally skipped spring and just went full on summer. Our spring was so cold and rainy that I'm a little sad, but I think it helped my allergies. Like I would be dying at this point in the year had it not kind of been so cold and froze and rain and all that good stuff. So. I will hold my complaints. And then I'm just going to set that down with the Gucci bronzer, love this bronzer, and a nice fluffy brush. Really start to build some of that tan look, although I do not tan. Like that sunburn is fading and like it doesn't even look like there was sun there to begin with. I'm just, I don't know. I used to tan. I was a lifeguard in high school and used to sit out and bake and get pretty dark, honestly, and that is not my skin anymore. I blame my office job, but to be honest, it's better because I don't need to be sitting out in baby oil like I used to, you know, like we're not here for the melanoma of it all. So yeah, this is the face bronzed and I feel confident that that's going to stick around all day. I'm going to go in with blush and I'm going to do the same trick and I'm going to go in with the Phytosurgeon's Fume blush and I will remember to use my Phytosurgeon's brush with this. Love these brushes. I'm just going to start building that on the cheeks. This brush makes it very easy too. Like quick, done. She's getting life to her face. I'm gonna be so curious to watch this back and see how much of Frank's foolishness you can hear. I think he's feeling very proud of himself from yesterday that he met all those new people and did great and he's just really feeling himself today. That's all I can think of the reason why he's being crazy. All right, the next blush I'm gonna layer on top of that is the Balm Desert Bronzer Blush. We're using the trick where I layer powder over cream, but this is also a staining cheek blush and this on its own really does last a long time. I also should mention that I am planning to be outside for most of the day. It's, I'm not, I wouldn't do this if I was only going to be out for a little bit, but I'm going to be out for a while and I'm also going to be chasing Frank around. So it's going to be a sweaty, intense day, you know, and I know that looks like a lot, but we're going to blend it all together. I love blush, but yeah, I really do like this and the color is beautiful it works really well with fume I just love it I'm just going for like a neutral look today it's all my brain can do this morning hot mess Frank all right next I'm gonna go in and do my brows we may do this off camera depending on how long this get ready with me is I'm also hoping that I have time um, after filming this that I can film my May favorites, which who can even believe that it's time for that already? I know everybody says that, but man, we've had Frank too for like two weeks, over two weeks now. How crazy is that? He's so fun. Um, but after I film my favorites, I'm behind. Obviously, this is probably not going to go up at noon today because today is Monday <laughs> we've just had a very social weekend going on um, and I wasn't feeling great because I had a 50-day cycle love that um, but yeah I'm hoping to sit down and film the fit video tomorrow and that will go up Friday and I'll get into that a little bit more in just a second so I do want to say thank you to everybody who gave who commented on the last get ready with me i'm so happy that you are interested in some of those fashion videos because obviously i have a ton of passion around that and would love to share helpful information from working in the industry so i am i sat down cataloged all my thoughts 
prepped the video and now I just need to sit down and film the video on fit and how to find your fit, how companies come up with fit. So thank you so much if you commented on that. It means the world to me. I wanted to start conversations. That's everything, you know? So thank you. I will be filming that um, hopefully tomorrow. But today I needed to get that favorites phone because I am so excited. It's not going to be mostly makeup. There's going to be makeup noted in there, but it's going to be a lot of just like random me lifestyle things, which I'm hoping everyone appreciates. I love just finding new products, new entertainment, new music, new podcasts, all of that good stuff in some of those favorite videos. Like Hannah Louise Poston always does like what's cheering me up right now. I love when Khaki shares more lifestyle -y things. It's just, I am only going to buy so much makeup. I've mentioned it. I'm not gonna be a channel that is the first to review something. I'm not gonna be a channel that is hopping on every trend. Like I am at a place in my life where I don't really, Trends are fun, trends are cool. It's like the whole cycle of fashion. Makeup is part of fashion, but I know what I like now. Does that make sense? Like, I know what I like, I know what trend I'm going to partake in, what trend I'm not going to partake in. I also know what products work for me and what products don't. So if it's really popular to have matte full coverage foundations, I'm out. Like, that's not what I'm gonna be spending my money on. So. I hope that I can branch out into things outside of just makeup. I want to start doing those fashion videos. I'm so happy that you guys are into that. But I also have a lot of other interests I'd love to share, like organizing is my whole life. It's just what it is. Okay, I'm going to try to find my eyeliner. We're, my desk is a mess, basically. Okay, I didn't use this in that Get Ready With Me where I was using new products from Ulta, but I did pick up the Stila Say All Day Dual Ended Liquid Liner. It has white, I can't wait to use this white. We might do that in another video, but for today I just wanna do like a typical wing that I always do. Um, I do that because I know that with these eyeliners that's gonna be a, an easy look that's gonna stay all day. These dry completely down, I don't have to worry about things fading and looking weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes and probably not talk through that. I, I have thoughts on this. We'll go through that at the end. Then another major tip for sweaty day, a cry day, if you're sad, you know, or if you're happy, tears, and allergies. I am tempted to do a second installment of the allergy beauty video because I cannot believe I did not include this and talk about this because I have talked about this in other videos. The Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions. This is a game changer if you have seasonal allergies. Because it dries fully down, it's not like, the pollen is not like sticking to sticky lashes. It sets down all the way and it's gonna remove with warm water, but not just like a quick hit of warm water. You kind of have to really saturate the lashes with water for this to start um, coming off. So this is going to last all day in the heat, the sweat, the crying, the allergy eye watering of it all. So yes, I'm going to apply this and be right back. All right, that is where we are at. It's starting to come together. I also wanna say my cousin Brittany, shout out Brittany, she's like one of my biggest supporters here, which makes me so happy because we used to watch makeup videos like back in 2009, 2010 together. Makeup by Tiffany D was like one of our favorites. And I remember Brittany won a Sigma, like a full Sigma set when they were like first becoming a company. And that was like such a cool moment, but Thank you, Brittany, for watching and commenting and just being a lovely person. But she just picked this up and she loves it too and I'm so happy. If I could rec like tell everybody about one product, it would be this. Second would be the Fit Glow Lip Serums. 
yeah if you want it to stay all day this is key very key all right so now I'm going to go into my phytosurgeon's spectral shine and divine daylight I have been foregoing setting under my eyes with powder to use this blurring trick so I'm gonna go into that and just buff that right by my nose and under my eyes and I think it's been helping with creasing honestly I mean I I watch my videos back and it drives me nuts when I have a lot of creasing but honest to god it's just it's always going to happen on me because I have these deep lines and it's just a part of my anatomy like we've accepted it it just is what it is I don't mind it so if that you mind it you might not want to watch my videos because it creases a lot and now I'm looking I am very tempted to spot conceal this but I know that it's just going to look crazier and crazier the more that I add on it so I'm going to restrain myself as far as lips go my lips are nice and prepped and I'll get into why I love that so much but let's pick a color there are children playing outside and birds khaki's giving me the strength to just leave my windows open you know I'm gonna go in with a new fit glow lip serum to me which is koi I've been wanting to pick this color up for a while it's a nice kind of peachy nude like medium tone peachy nude like I said just keeping it kind of low-key today I know the wings not low-key for a lot of people but it is for me mm, and these are gonna hydrate the lips I love this but I want to do a roundup of all the products I use and then I also want to touch on things that I'll be packing with me to help keep my face fresh and I almost forgot I am going to use some Vix Plus just to blend everything together this is also I forgot to use in my recent things I picked up at Ulta you know I told you I was like well no that was a different video the mood has just been chaotic lately I'm researching why we, we need to figure out what is going on with the stars okay run through the fit glow you know I love this the ceramides are awesome you could also use this on a sunburn if you had that the beauty pie ceramide eye serum love this it just helps my eyes feel better on rough allergy days almost empty love that the phytosurgeon sea submerge you guys I'm quickly making my way through this I absolutely love this again perfect if you have a sunburn after being out in a hot day and you skipped sunscreen for whatever reason don't do that but love this even on the face the fit glow I see firm eye cream love this just added hydration under the eyes especially when they're not very happy the live tinted I briefly went over this I love this I'm very very happy with this purchase it does save me a little bit of money from the dr. Dennis gross however it is only SPF 30 and not SPF 50 but I think that in combination with the CC cream, which I also really love, we're gonna skip ahead. I know that I can trust this in the summer. I mentioned in that, get ready with me. It's not your sole SPF, but it does add a, an extra boost of coverage. And I just love how it looks, especially when I need a little bit fuller cover, coverage. You can see it hides some of that um, scarring that I have without having to spot conceal which I appreciate so love that the kinship super melt lip jelly mask I love this for lip prep now this is not a night serum for me it could be but it's perfect for prep because it has papaya enzymes to exfoliate and it does really exfoliate the lips very gently so if you wake up and you got crusty lips and you're like I want to wear a lip without making it look crazy granted the fit glow is always going to camouflage flaky lips this is great love it so far then the rose ink concealer kind of talked about this and when applying it I have really been loving this give that props we'll be purchasing the kisses again though very soon Natasha Janina puff paints these are super uh, user friendly love these especially for what I use it for today which is going underneath the powder the Gucci bronzer I've been using that nonstop. I really love that I have to like intentionally pick a different bronzer over that one it's just the most natural to my skin tone phytosurgeons fume skin spark blush have gone over this a million times the balm desert 
bronzer blush really love this I wish more people would talk about this I've been looking for a blush that gives this effect for a long time and it stays all day love it love it love it what else what else I use the Hindash Butopsy palette on my eyes just the white and the gray per usual it's just a really nice palette would love to do a dedicated video on that then the Stila stay all day dual ended eyeliner I do like this I can see why people really love it because it is a very very fine short tip actually let me grab the beauty pie to show you the difference so if you do smaller wings the beauty pie is right here this guy so you can see beauty pie is a very long felt tip but comes to a fine point the steela comes to an even finer point and is much much smaller Let's see if i can get them like i'd say it's like almost yeah triple the length but it's very very fine if you struggle with getting the detail that you want in your eye, the Stila is amazing. It does not skip. However, it's not gonna lend itself well like the Beauty Pie does when we talk about stamping, if you don't like to draw. Also, if you're doing a pretty big wing, I had to fill in a lot more than I traditionally would with something like this, but the white end of this is much longer. Closer to that Beauty Pie, I cannot wait to use this. It looks very promising. So we'll, we'll do a look with that. This also comes in a lot of different colors. I'm tempted now to pick up a few different colors. So yeah, check that out if you're interested. It's definitely more expensive than the Beauty Pie, but if it's a color that you really love that you can't find in other brands, I think it's definitely worth checking out. We'll see how long it lasts on the eyes today. The Thrive Cosmetics Mascara, talk about it at length in pretty much every video. Check it out if you struggle at all with mascara. Fix Plus, I love it. I need to get back into setting sprays. I couldn't be happier with this. It's an OG for a reason. And I think the Spectral Shine, I man, gets me every time. Kosa's brow products use it every day. The Spectral Shine, I have really been loving this to like set under my eyes and blur. Again, I think it helps with creasing. Divine Daylight is a perfect blurring color for me that doesn't add a ton of highlight highlight. I just made another order though and I got fresh fog so I can't wait for that but yeah that is all the products I hope that this helped with the application I also want to call out that I will be packing my boogie wipes will not go anywhere allergy season without them We'll be packing those. We'll be packing the Super Goop Play SPF 50. This is a chemical sunscreen, but I love it for the body and I love that you can get such a large tub. My husband uses this as well, so I will be packing that. I'll be packing a small brush to kind of itch my face if it comes to it. And I also will be packing the Tower 28 SPF, not SPF, the Tower 28 SOS spray. It's over there. I can't be bothered to go get it. I also don't want to disturb Frankie's napping. I will use that just to re kind of wake up my face, refresh whatever I need, use that with the brush to tap things back in, what have you. And yeah, I hope this was helpful. I'm also packing Benadryl. Hopefully we don't need it. But I hope you have a great Memorial Day. Thank you to everybody who has served our country. And yeah, I hope that you have the day off and you are spending time with loved ones or you know you're just reinvesting back into yourself and having a chill day so i hope you enjoyed this hope there were some helpful tips and i will see you in the next one bye